We think local co-op is awesome. Nothing beats sitting down on a sofa with a mate playing the same game at the same time in the same place. But it looks like these days most AAA publishers are ignoring this awesome feature and that sucks. Just a little chat about co-op. We want to hear what you think about co-op games and we're going to tell you what we think of local co-op games. So just know what's going to happen now, right? <laughs> just expect nothing, yeah. okay? That's assuming they've watched up to this point and yeah. not responding to the title. Yeah. Oh, you think local co-op games are, are awesome, do you? Well, I'll tell you what I think <laughs> about local co-op games. Before everyone had the internet, the most popular way to play games without a complicated LAN setup or another console was by plugging in another controller into slot 2 and BAM! Player 2 has entered the game. Whether it was Super Mario Bros, Streets of Rage or Mario Kart, there were always some awesome experiences to be had playing co-op locally on the sofa. And now, that just isn't really true anymore. Why is that? Well, with the games industry's growing corporatization and the constant drive for growth for more money, multiplayer has changed a lot. Co-op is now locked behind separate accounts, separate consoles, and separate televisions. Because who needs real life friends when you can just meet people online who also have pricey consoles and their own copy of the Fortnite your mum edition. The amount of money at stake for a company when it comes to multiplayer is huge. What does split screen get them? Well, nothing but extra development time and costs and maybe a few extra sales. What does online co-op and multiplayer get them? More sales of the game. Two friends need two copies to play together. Publishers like Sony and Microsoft can charge for the right to play online. They can tie games to players' accounts and pump them full of microtransactions. In short, there's a lot of money to be made. Internet reliant multiplayer literally excludes millions of players. You may have a roommate, a friend, or a partner who wants to enjoy your hobby with you, but don't necessarily want to splash out on their own console. These days, that's becoming harder and harder to enjoy. So this is a complicated topic, and one that's brought up quite regularly on the, on the internet, definitely. I mean, where's local co-op gone? Where's split screen gone? I mean, it's a conversation worth having, because it's a conversation we have in the office ourselves, yeah, I guess, isn't it? Maybe it's because the internet wasn't knocking about then, so you couldn't play Mario Kart online in the 90s, right? And now you can. Maybe that's it. But to me, playing a game yeah. online, and playing the game next to somebody it has a, is a different feeling and completely yeah. different merits. So, to the extent that even if it went backwards, if they had online co-op and online multiplayer first, and then they were like, hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we put the same players on one console and one game and see what happens? Like, that would be good. Like, people would respond positively. It, like you said, it's yeah. a different experience. It's a different package. There's so many games that offer co-op now. It's, it's like yeah. through the roof. It's amazing. It's, it's really terrific. But like, that's, that's rarely local co-op. That's rarely sitting on a sofa with, with you know, a couple of your friends and, and doing it that way, which is a damn shame. It is an awful shame. It is a shame because we as gamers, everyone listening, right, you've got your own console and things like that, and you have to drop hundreds of pounds on a PC or a console and stuff just to play games. So it's all well and good us playing Battlegrounds together or Overwatch yeah. or something like it's that. It's great, actually. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's awesome. Online gaming is amazing, and I can't imagine the world without it now, but there's still that little thing there when you might just want to just jump into a game, yeah. have a couple of, you know, smash someone's head in on Street Fighter. Resident Evil 5 and yeah. 6 vastly outsold um, Resident Evil 7 in, in, you know, similar periods of, you know, since launch and that kind of stuff. There's one big reason for that, in my opinion. The only reason I would go back to Resident Evil 5 and 6 is because I can play them with my girlfriend all the way through from beginning to end, and yeah. it's a co-op puzzle solving experience, like combat experience, it's, it's looking after each other, like reviving each other and, you know, s scenarios and, and, and interesting gameplay elements that you, that you can that you can play together. Literally no no games really offer that kind of experience these days and it's a, it's a, it's a flipping shame. Contrary to recent statements made in this video, it's worth noting of course there are some AAA games with split screen co-op that have been released over the past few years. Borderlands, the handsome collection, can be played in its entirety with a friend. COD has long offered at least some split screen functionality. As have until recently the likes of Gears of War and Halo. Resident Evil 5 and 6 both have fully co-op campaign experiences as do all the Lego games for example which have handled it creatively with a seamless blend from shared to split screen. Diablo 3 stands out as a bastion of deep action RPG on console that's completely playable local multiplayer and of course Nintendo have always been the champions of local multiplayer Mario Kart, Super Smash Bros and Super Mario 3D World to name but a few. They make consoles that are built with the idea of playing along side friends and family in mind. The Switch's left and right Joy-Cons, for example, can even be used by two people to facilitate local multiplayer without having to buy an extra controller. That is terrific. 
And let's not forget about the indies. Rocket League, one of the standout games of the generation, has a split screen co-op option. And then there are games like Resogun and Next Machina. Divinity Original Sin, is it an indie? Mm, yeah, I don't know, but Divinity Original Sin is completely built for co-op, local or online. It's a pretty hardcore classic style RPG that has a unique multiplayer dialogue system and offers very deep gameplay playable on local co-op. But it doesn't really go much further than that. And that's your lot as far as local co-op goes. We've listed Resident Evil 5 and 6 is the cream in the crop of a certain category, which is... When that you know says it's it getting all. bad, doesn't you know it? I mean? Some games like Lego um, realises kids and, and, some, and fa family, especially like parent and child kind of thing, yeah. they do want to play games together and not enough games kind of tick that box. I think what it comes down to is what we were talking about earlier. There's a lot more money at stake for them to, to go online and, and that's that's the simple that's the simple. It's a shame, part. isn't it? What, what do you reckon the best co-op game you can ever remember playing? Lo local co-op, I modded Left 4 Dead on PC so I could play that local multiplayer and that was awesome. Yeah. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Honestly, I probably think it's local co-op, remember, it's probably Lego. Honestly, it's the Lego it's games. A, yeah, right. This, it has like one screen and then when you away from each other, yep. it goes split screen. Divinity Original Sin's got that as well. Conflict Desert Storm was my favourite because oh, it's yeah. tactical. Yeah. I remember we had a split screen and then my mate's brothers had another telly and they had split screen so we yeah. could play four player Sweet. local. And for some reason that's such a standout game. And then when you think of another game similar to that, like Ghost Recon Wildlands, you play online, that's also squad based, tactical, yeah. but not half as fun. If that was local co-op only, maybe that would stand it out was, a bit more. I could really imagine getting into that local co-op. It yeah. just changes the game completely. But it's, there's also like technological uh, obstacles for them to overcome as well. Like how do you handle it? Do you like, yeah. like render the whole world twice or and then drop the resolution a little bit? So, you know, it's a very difficult thing to execute in a lot of games. And a lot of developers don't quite know how to do it. The further back you go, the more classic examples are at, like culminating probably in GoldenEye and Mario Kart, you know, it's, those those were treasured gaming memories for a lot of people. It's just a shame that we, we can't really experience that kind of thing yeah. to that degree anymore. Well, maybe we're just saying this because we're old and things like that. There might things be, were better when well, I was younger. Well, that's the thing people that are watching now, right? Like 17 year olds and stuff like that. You guys would have only known a world with internet gameplay. So maybe you've never even played a split screen game. Maybe it doesn't interest you at all. Yeah. Maybe you don't know what all the fuss is about. So let us know if you are one of those people. because yeah. you it, never experienced yeah, it. Yeah, maybe you did play split screen co-op and you're happy to get rid of it let us know because yeah. this is the whole purpose of this video is a discussion i want to know the best time you have had playing a local co-op game because that's interesting to me and i want to know if you've never enjoyed split screen and i want to know if you think it's a little so there you go that's our discussion on uh, split screen local co-op and if jake didn't make clear this was a discussion there was no news there was no rant there were no strong opinions just a bit of reminiscing about local multiplayer what are your thoughts what are your responses to what we've been talking about let us know down in the comments remember to like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this there's another video right there which you can watch right now and a link to patreon if you want to support the channel see you next time